morning. We've been back from UDS for about a week. And during that week, we've been taking the output of the decisions made at UDS and turning those into work items. The Ubuntu project we develops in a very transparent manner. And I'm just going to quickly show you how to use that transparency if you're interested in finding out more about what work is being committed to and what's being what work is being done. So we'll start with this URL right here. This is um, a web page that Martin Pitt maintains. It's right here. And you can see that it's a list of pages where you can go and get some insight into work that's being committed to. Um, so the overview page here is sort of your um, home base for drilling down. Now, we um, only commit to work. We, we may break work out of what's required for the whole release of what we think that needs to be done to meet the goals specified in a blueprint, but we only commit to work milestone by milestone. So for instance, we only commit the current milestone that we're committed to is in the Alpha 2, that's our current, we call it a work item iteration, the Alpha 2 milestone. And so if I want to, I can drill down here for the desktop team and see what the desktop team is currently committed to for Alpha 2. So I'll click on that link and you can see that it starts with a burn down chart and a burn down chart tracks work accomplished against time so you really want to you can see for alpha 2 we're committed to about 110 work items and this black line here this black line here is called the trend line you really want to be want the red part to be under the trend line because the red is under undone work items we're tracking against time so we want if we're under the trend line it means that we're working fast enough to meet our commitments in that release I expect to see a quick hop down from there and then below that you can see the list of blueprints that we've targeted in the release um, and you can see the percent that they're done and then for instance if you're interested in the software center which is an essential blueprint you can click on that blueprint when the blueprint loads when the blueprint loads we'll be able to see what specific work items are scheduled for it uh, so if I look down here at the at the um, whiteboard whiteboard has a list of work items and where it says work items for Maverick Alpha 2 under that are the work items that we're committed to for the Alpha 2 um, release and so expect to see those done and available in Alpha 2.